The miracle of life continues. 在那个山沟沟里面来了三百多只，这区域的话藏羚羊多得很。如果他们觉得很安全了，他们才会过那个二幺九国道。It's early summer, and the antelope are migrating to the pasture to foal. There's only one route, and it takes them across National Highway 219. Tenzin wants to ensure that every antelope makes it over the road safely. It's something he's been doing for the past five years. The observation posts are reporting that a herd of Tibetan antelope are approaching. Tenzin and his team have a lot of experience in moving cars on. Today, the idea is taking root that humans must strive to live in harmony with nature. In the past few years, there have been no cases of human beings being killed or stolen. I am very happy. At one time, hunting caused a dramatic fall in the At one time, hunting caused a dramatic fall in the Tibetan antelope population, from a million to just 70,000. In recent years, it has recovered, now to over 200,000. The Tibetan antelope is not the only beneficiary of recent protection initiatives. Nationwide, 85% of wildlife and 65% of higher flora communities have received effective protection. At one time, the Bayan Buluk grassland was facing devastation. Now, it's turning green. It even has its own swan lake. At the heart of the Qinghai Plateau, the source of three rivers, the Yangtze, the Yellow River, and the Lantang, is protected by a team of 7,200 full-time herder wardens. Snow leopards and lynxes are becoming more evident. Water resources have increased by 8.4 billion cubic meters, and the wetland has expanded by 104 square kilometers. In Hunchun Forest, in the Changbai Mountains, an infrared camera has captured the movements of an adult Amur leopard with its young. This large cat is one of the most critically endangered species in the world. The Qinling Mountains are home to an estimated 300 giant pandas. A brown panda, spotted here, is believed to be the only one of its kind in the world. A pilot program has been launched to establish national parks for giant pandas, as well as Amur tigers and leopards. In the beautiful South China Sea, vulnerable baby turtles are carefully tended. Normally in the wild, their survival rate is less than one in a thousand. But here, they're nursed for six months so that they're better able to protect themselves from their natural enemies when they return to the sea. Life flourishes in a harmonious environment. Respecting nature, conforming to nature, and protecting nature. These are the key principles in restoring the environment, both on land and at sea. <laughs>